Hello, this is just a product review of the um, Scale 77 uh, paints um, for the f our friends on the Repair Miniature Forums. Mm, just for clarification, I've not affiliated into a, with any of these paint brands, and but the question has come up several times already about how nice these paints are or not. Uh, I think they are starting a big push into the market and well I quite like them I try them and I like them and I'm one of the few that actually tries them and speak up for them on, on the forum so probably video is better to just show them show them to you first some general things uh, the scale for the uh, paints come only in packs of eight paints right in a cardboard box this is a big uh, con I think for the line because you can get one color or two colors just for trying or if you like only one color of the sets you can't get it uh, you are forced to take the whole set the sets are thematic however uh, um, so they are and they are quite nicely grouped I think so if you are interested in doing, for example, no metal, no metal, metal, metals for steel or gold, or you want a nice range of greens or blues, uh, this could work out for you. As far as the the paints themselves, the paints are come in 77 millimeter, 17 so, sorry millimeter pots, very like uh, the other two brands I'm going to be comparing with, like. Uh, Magico model color paints, right? That come also in 17 millimeters pots, and it's very, very similar to the Drupal Bottle uh, Reaper Master Series paint. Come, you know, Reaper Master Series paint. Uh, come, I think they are a little bit less paint. It's quite visible there, but the general shape, diameter, and all that is the same. So they will fit whenever you can fit a Vallejo or a Reaper if you have a paint organizer. In general, um, point-wise, price-wise, um, some people have said that they are uh, very expensive, so expensive, just the thing is, as you know, these um, paints are made in Spain, I really think they don't really have still a nice distribution channel, they are not well, as well known as the Vallejo paints, even then, for example, I, I from what I hear, Vallejo paints are not really that common in the States. So if you're in the States, it's tough luck. And you're in the in Europe, for example, where I could I got all these paints, you will see a lot of Vallejo and you are starting to see a lot of this Kelsen design paints or Andrea or P3 formula paints, but not really master repair master series. So I guess the problem here is that other than that Games Workshop paints where you that you can find worldwide. It's very, very difficult to still for these small manufacturers to supply all over the world. So, unfortunately, if if you're taking into account uh, currency exchange and you are going to be having uh, adding all the shipping into it, the cost yes, probably the paints are expensive. In Europe, however, uh, taking the having the the river paints aside because you can find them, I couldn't find them easily at shops. Uh, if you speak about Vallejo and skill color, I can probably get a pot of Vallejo for around two, uh, two euros online or three euros, uh, 2.8, let's say, on a shop. The eight, point, eight, eight paint pots uh, skill color box has a ticket price of around 25 euros you can get them around 21 22 online so before shipping uh, is as you see Vallejo and I, I truly think skill color paints have come out uh, to compete price wise with the Vallejo paints so if you are used to American dollars and your own price for Reaper you're probably not going too expensive in the market as it is not enough for Europe, they, they their price makes a lot of sense, and they're really nice paints. I mean, they're worth their the the, the ticket price if you can uh, use or you get it used for the whole for the, for the whole set. So now I will just because 
I, I ask a few friends on the forums what colors should I try for comparison and everybody of course has different colors that are your favorite or not. The scale 77 range already is quite large. I think they already include uh, 72 paints uh, plus I, I forgot to mention this, but primer, I have the white and the black primer, I tried them, they are quite nice, very very fine as well. Um, and I will show you examples probably in, 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 in a minute. But I wanted to show you uh, some of my favorite, favorite paints. I have all sets until set 7, that is the non-metamerial steel, steel set, gold, non-metamerial no, NMM, gold, and bronze set, the flesh set, the leather and wood set, red, green and blue set. So as you see uh, seven times eight I have quite a bit of paints. <laughs> it's 56 scale 77 sets. I am only liking the black and white one and the new metallics one. Um, and I have some some of these paints are really really nice. I mean I, I have have a broad range of around 40 some my Yeho paint that are my main were my main workhorse workhorse. I have some paints from Reaper from the Lenzo paint kits. And um and but there are some paint colors in the this set that I really really like and I wanted to show you what my favorites are. The non metal steel set has some of course some very nice grays light blues, light greys, uh, color it. For example, the Nacar, Nacar, I don't know how you pronounce this in English, is a very warm uh, grey. It's very similar to Dectan from Vallejo, for example. I see, I should have it on here. Or not. I don't have it on. I should have. It's a little bit darker than Reaper or Linen White or Vallejo Ivory. And here is Dectan from Vallejo. I don't know if you can see them, but they are really close. It's a very nice color. Um, then there is Arctic Blue, for example, and Bering Blue. These blues are kind of like if you take Ashen Blue from Reaper, for example, this one is about in the middle there it's a little bit darker and more desaturated than ashen blue and arctic blue I really like it's a very light grey blue that works great when you try to illuminate blues or of course steel or white if you need to work with them this color is very very nice as well uh, and another color I really, really, I, I, I kind of like fell in love with. Uh, these two ones are very bright and color. One of them is very bright, the other one is a little bit more desaturated. This is Mars Orange from the Gold Metal set. It's a brownish red uh, orange. It's, it, this works wonderfully for tinting faces. When we say you need to tint it a little bit reddish to simulate blood vessels on the, on, on the cheeks. This works great and it's a very nice uh, desaturated orange. It's not it's difficult to make at least for me to make it to mix a desaturated orange. It becomes it, it, it gets brown very very quickly. Uh, and this color is great for that. And Adriatic blue, you need I mean you see this turquoise light blue is wonderful shade as well. I like it. The on the flesh set there are a couple colors I really like, but the ones I like the most are the shadow colors, Arabic shadows, Indian shadow, African shadow. I mean, look at this. This is not is far from black. When you need to shade the full face, it's far from black, and still it's dark and it gets, gives you a lot of contrast. In your shadow is reddish and gives you a lot of contrast when we say you can shade with dark red or you can shade with purple. In your shadow is like a more reddish shadow purple and African shadow 
is a more purple, dark color, and uh, it works great. Arabic shadow is a great color all around for kind of like a dark, desaturated ochre color, and it's very, very nice as well. Um, so, as you see, I have my favorites in every set, and I just have to go to it. So, the on the um, on the leather and 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 good sets they are very nice colors as well this is sandalwood it's kind of like a pinkish this is really pink I, I like it a lot birch in iroco i i love iroco for for leather when i do all my leathers and you do all those worn out edges uh iroco is as you see still kind of like an, an ochre a light yellowish ochre very, very nice because also these paints in general dry very very matte. They don't shine at all. Shine at all. So this color in in matte ha gives you a lot of. It's very very useful for edge lighting, red leathers for example, uh, and those colors. Uh, brown and red leather from this set and black leather are really nice colors as well. The red. If you love the reds, the red set is gorgeous uh, has vibrant reds like Antares red has deep purples like sunset purple it has desaturated reds like deep red uh, a bright yellow that I'm going to use for the demonstration it has another orange that is darker than the other one but it's also quite desaturated there is Kalahari orange why? because well you can mix bright oranges with Antares red and some yellow probably so you really don't need that one as much the green color has some beautiful colors colors that sometimes you can mix sometimes you can't of course you have bright greens like a ruddy green then light spring green this is a very soft pastel green beautiful for highlighting autumn green yellowish green yes, as you see very nice as well and the dark greens black forest green is a very nice dark heavy color I mean I love the greens and, uh, and these greens are great should go green it's like a the love chart of the other two is awesome as well it's a little bit desaturated you can play a lot with these colors you can do bases with a saturated color and there's just a glaze and a little bit of a brighter one it works beautifully and they are very, very matte and the blue if you like the blue some of the blue blues are really great caribbean blue is a light slightly greenish blue it makes me think makes me think of the sea and reflection on the on the on the ocean really nice then you have bright blues light blue, for example like sky blue or Mediterranean blue, it's kind of like a medium blue I'm going to use after Tesla blue, electric blue I, this color is very nice for tinting look at that, look at that, that hue of the shade you can tint it whatever else or you're doing on the blues and it will work well, great and the darker blues, uh, deep blue for example we have talked a lot about the forms, or I have talked a lot of, in, in the forms about how you shall use just a, a very dark blue for edge lighting. Basically, that, that would be not really blue liner from Reaper, but uh, a paints gray from um, from just art acrylics. Deep blue is the color in hobby form, right? So these are. Kind of like my favorite colors from the range. This is all I have. I don't have the other ones, but they're very nice anyway.